So very, very first thing, a golf ball rolls up a putt-putt hole. Still wrong. No, it's right now. I can see it. A golf ball rolls up a hill towards a putt-putt hole. If it starts with a velocity of 2 meters per second and accelerates at a constant rate of negative 0.5 meters per second per second, what is its velocity after 2 seconds? If the acceleration occurs for 6 seconds, what is its final velocity? Okay, so, and feel free to actually tell me, but I suspect that Rodarte is trying to hassle me a little bit. Either way, so let's go ahead and get started on this first one. So we have a golf ball rolling up a hill at a putt-putt hole. I like to start off with a picture. There we go. So here we go. We have a ball rolling up a hill towards a putt-putt hole. Okay? Putt-putt hole. All right. Now, it's clear that this is actually going to be trying to accelerate down the, uh, down the ramp, right? Because as we push it up, it's going to be fighting against gravity, and we're going to, you know, it's going to slow down, turn around, and come back. Okay? Now, if it starts with a velocity of, so initial velocity, V0, of 2 meters per second, 2 meters per second, and accelerates, so acceleration at a constant rate of negative 0.5 meters per second per second. Okay? What is its velocity after two seconds? So we have a t of two seconds. Now, I know a lot of this is going to be introductory for, I mean, especially my class, because we've been doing so many labs lately that it really hasn't had a chance to, uh, we really haven't had a chance to cover this material yet, but that's what we're doing right now. Okay, so our equation that would apply to this particular situation is as follows. We have a change in velocity, which is equal to our acceleration multiplied by our change in time. Okay, so we've been given our velocity, we've been given an acceleration, we've been given a time. But let's take a look at this delta v and see what it means, okay? So delta v, just like anything, means a change in velocity. That's what that delta means. And another way to write delta v is our final velocity minus our initial velocity, or v0, okay? So all that is how it is, okay? So knowing that these two things both equal delta v, we can substitute this in for that. And we can rewrite our equation one last time as v final minus the initial velocity equals our acceleration multiplied by our time. Okay? Now, if we just go ahead and substitute in all the numbers that we currently have, Vf equal or minus 2 meters per second equals negative 0.5 meters per second squared multiplied by our two, our 2 seconds. Multiplied by our 2 seconds. Okay? Now, we can go ahead and punch or er, uh, crunch all those numbers and we have negative negative 0.5 times 2 so we have vf minus 2 equals negative 1 right does everybody see how that all worked out now to get this vf all by himself we're gonna have to add 2 to both sides and we have vf is equal to 3 meters per sec nope did my math wrong. I'm going to edit that out. One meter per second. I apologize for that. Uh, but yeah, so I did my math wrong. But yeah, now it's right. So VF minus two equals negative one. So we add two to both sides. That gets rid of this right here. You're right. You're 100 percent right, Brian. But uh, I figured that out. I knew that was incorrect. So there we go. Now, if you need a picture of this, go ahead and take a picture or a screenshot, and I'll be right back. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and finish off the second part of that problem, which is if the acceleration occurs 
for six seconds. What is its final velocity? Now, let's go ahead and erase this work that we've done here already. And we're going to change our time. So six seconds. Okay. So now we're back to using this version of our equation right here. And we just do the same thing again. Vf minus 2 meters per second equals negative 0.5 meters per second per second multiplied by, this time, 6 seconds. So we have Vf minus 2 equals negative 3. Okay, add 2 to both sides. And this time we have a final velocity of negative 1 meter per second. Now, what does it mean that we have a negative 1 meter per second instead of a positive 1 meter per second? That means that our ball rolled up the hill, stopped, turned around, and is now accelerated far enough back that it is now traveling at 1 meter per second down the hill.